12 hours just as hard as we could go. An unknown number of destructive fish. There's 10 times more of them than I thought there was. At first, these fish were a novelty. <laughs> then it became scary. Then it became alarming. How many can they catch in two days? Now, you remember earlier in the year, we traveled to Western Kentucky to the Asian Carp Tournament. And during this process, seeing these massive fish numbers brought in, the obvious question was, how can these fish be processed? How can we take these fish and use them for whatever purpose, human consumption, pet consumption, whatever? Well, we found out about a place in Wycliffe where they're taking these fish and processing them for human consumption. A lot of people love these fish. If you know anything about them at all, you do know that we have fixed them several different ways and the fish is very white fleshed. It is not a strong fish. It tastes really well, but the bone structure is odd compared to our native fish. There's a lot of bones, but the meat itself is good. Now, Wycliffe, Kentucky is in a very, very western part of the state. It's got a great location for this type of fish market because it goes to the lakes, it goes to the Mississippi, it goes to the Ohio River, and several different states. So this is a fantastic opportunity for somebody to figure out what to do with these fish. But anyway, here's what we found on our trip to Wycliffe, Kentucky. I think it's a, a top of the line facility. I think that they can handle you know, several thousand pounds of these a day. And I, I think that they, uh, after a period of time and it gets, uh, gets established and gets a routine going and gets all the workers trained, I think it'll really move along smoothly. Uh, yeah, I need two more totes right here. And today it's a nasty rainy day, but you still brought in a couple thousand pounds of silvers. Yeah. Is it, are you finding that uh, you're seeing more silvers and big heads or just depend on the day? It just depends on the day and the location. Uh, the silvers like to hang out in certain spots and, and, and the other fish are in, you know, different areas. You just gotta look for them and, and they move around a lot. They move around a lot. We've been talking forever about these fish and how in the world are we gonna establish a market and we've got just the person right here, okay. Angie Yu, and Thank your you. last name means fish. Oh, so that's very appropriate. The same pronunciation as fish in Chinese. Now, you, as we see back here, mm -hmm. are partners with a fella, and you all are establishing markets worldwide mm -hmm. for these fish, which taste real good. We just had some for lunch. Uh -huh. Now, here's the strange thing. As I was talking to your partner, he said that in China, their waterways seem to be a little more polluted yeah. Down here, plenty of food, plenty of zooplankton, uh -huh. and they're taking off like crazy. Uh -huh. So we're trying, as a, as a fish and wildlife, uh -huh. to control those numbers through fishing for them. Uh -huh. That's where you come in. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's, I'm here. Yeah. People in China, they can tell the wild carps from U.S. and the farm carp uh, in China. And they prefer they the wild it. ones. Yeah, sure. No kidding. So you take these fish, mm -hmm. once they bring them off the trucks, they're fresh, and you flash freeze them. Yes. How long does it take them to freeze? Uh, take to uh, six to eight hours. Six to eight hours. It's, it is totally frozen. Then we uh, pack it and put it in cooler. Keep in it cooler. frozen. And then take those and ship those to China. Yeah, immigrate these fish back. Take them back to back China. Back to China. So do you sell to local markets the catfish and things uh, yes, like Yes, because a fisherman uh, got some uh, bad catch and also we have got orders from a local for like catfish, buffalo, things yeah. like that. You know, people look at look at this uh, as a threat to the, to the native fish. They wonder what we're gonna do about them. You know, the more I see, Looks to me like we're going to have to wrap our arms around them, give them a big hug. I think they're yeah. going to be here. Yeah, I do too. But we do still catch several buffalo and catfish and other fish that we're used to catching. You know, um, it seems like the silvers are on the top surface and then down below them, the buffalo and other fish hang out. Gotcha. Um, so, you know, we catch a little bit of everything still. Now, do you think that once this catches on, they establish these markets all over the world, United States, whatever, do you think we can bring those numbers down eventually? And keep I think them? you can, the fishermen will help, but I, I think that we're gonna have to learn to live with they're them. They're here to stay. They're here, they're here. What we can do is try to get them in check where our other fish can still uh, uh, live and survive in the river.